So who should actually run a webinar? You know, should your business run a webinar? It's a question we often get. And the best way to know whether you should run a webinar is really looking at, I guess, your, you know, how much your product sells for. So if you're selling cans of Coke, sandwiches, uh, that sort of thing, probably not worthwhile running a webinar. But if you're selling something that has over a value of $500, where there's a reasonable decision-making process that happens before making that purchase, then webinars can be very, you know, can be very worthwhile. Now, for instance, we've got you know, clients who they might sell seminars for five thousand dollars, or they might sell you know, properties or that sort of thing, where there's a decision-making process which really goes into it, uh, and that's when someone will go, you know what, I really want to build my wealth. I really want to build a home. I really want to you know, do something, find a new accountant or save tax. Then they're, they're going to be willing to spend that, you know, that, that 30 to 60 minutes to jump on a webinar, get educated on that topic. And if they find that you're providing valid information, then book an appointment in with you to dive in further and potentially become a client. So look for that above, if you're selling something above $500, it's definitely worthwhile considering running a webinar. Thanks for your time. I'm gonna be running a webinar on how to get clients with webinars in as little as 21 days uh, shortly. I'm gonna be joined by Ken Wood from Event Filler. Now Ken's done over $90 million in both live event and online event sales throughout his career. Uh, so if you'd like to join us and you sell a product that's a product or service that's valued at over five hundred dollars, doesn't matter if you're in a you know if you're an accountant, if you're a builder, if you're a property developer, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, but if you'd like to join us, click on the link below.